Our financial situation is by no means robust. Twenty eleven's preliminary results show a net deficit amongst all of Alpa's business units of three point nine million dollars. The MCF, on the other hand, experienced a deficit of almost six million dollars as a result of MCF expenditures, which includes MEC SPC activities, Kitty Hawk insurance premiums and litigation costs, and very minimal investment income. Uh, $500,000 of dues income that comes off the top currently to pay off the Mansfield loan will be reallocated to fund the MCF or other strategic purposes as designated by the Executive Council once that loan has been paid off. In 2011, dues on profit sharing was the most significant factor for actual dues beating our budget projections. The 2012 budget also reflects the stabilization of our staff headcount allowing for modest pay increases and rising medical costs, which will be partially offset by increased premiums being paid by our employees. In addition, as recommended by SCUFS and adopted as policy, the ANS account will shoulder more and more of a portion of the Kitty Hawk premium payments for our DFR insurance in 2012. Fund balance reached a high of $86.4 million in 2006, but then fell to a low of $48 million in 2011. Although the results from the first quarter of this year reflect a modest increase in the MCF balance, several MCF grants were approved by you earlier this year, and we expect the demands on the MCF to continue. Future funding of the MCF is vital. To that end, after the Mansfield settlement loan is paid off, we will, per policy approved by the Executive Board, contribute the $500,000 per year currently being taken off the top of dues income to the MCF. Further, any additional off the top amounts may be contributed to the MCF or for other strategic purposes as established by the Executive Council during the annual budgeting process. The MCF has paid close to $1 million in legal fees related to lawsuits noticed to Kitty Hawk Insurance, our captive insurance company. Please note that our insurance premium payment to Kitty Hawk, which traditionally has come out of the MCF in the past years, is gradually being shifted over to the ANS account, further relieving pressure on the MCF. At the recent SCUFS meeting earlier this year, the committee finalized its supplemental report addressing recommended constitution and bylaw changes related to three outstanding issues. The elimination of the exemption of pilot contributions to 401k plans from income subject to dues. Action on the recommended constitution and bylaw changes will not be taken until later this fall at the Executive Council's meeting in August and then at the executive board meeting in September, finally culminating with action by the board of directors in October. We realize that your MECs may have questions and want more details on these proposed changes.